Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Hidden Side Newberry Juice Bar. Very small set. This was, um, I believe, something that came free with a purchase. So, um, not something that you could readily buy at a store, but it's not really that big anyway. So, some of the other Hidden Side sets are probably more bang for your buck, I guess you would say. Alright, so I'm going to move the camera just a bit so we can really get a good idea of what we're doing here. All right. There's our contents. Small little instruction book. Small set, so don't really expect much. There is a small sticker sheet. Not, uh, not my favorite. I don't really care for stickers too much, but it's all right. All right, so got all the contents out. We do have some minifigures. It's interesting, the instruction book throughout the first couple pages, it's, it's showing you kind of graphical ads for the app. So there's this app that you can use with the hidden side. And they're kind of trying to show you what, what the app does without too much words. All right, so let's jump right into this. We got some minifigures. <clears throat> Oops, wrong head. So there's a female version head. You can usually tell because they have lipstick or longer eyelashes. So just make sure you put the right one on. Let's see, she has a little smartphone with the projection of a ghost or something on there. That's our first minifig. Next is our juice bar employee. <clears throat> Pretty simple. So that's the, your, your basic figure. Um, he's actually wearing the coffee outfit. But what's interesting about this guy is he has an alternate head and hair piece. So if I can put that on separate. So we've got this trans yellow ghost head. You pop this guy's head off, and put this one on, and this is the, the haunted version of the, the coffee worker or juice bar guy. to the side. Let's get started with our juice bar. Okay, starting with some basic plates and bricks there. This is an interesting piece, it's a panel, and the top it kind of looks like a, what they call a macaroni brick, but it's a thin panel, so it's basically a curved panel. This is the first set that I've received any of these pieces in. Um, but here's the macaroni brick I'm talking about, so it looks very similar to it. Um, it's just uh, less plastic. those macaroni bricks right here. A couple of two by two bricks.
see our countertop is overhanging the main base there. Looks pretty good so far. Now we're going to use our curved panels. Those will both go there. Create the back side of the juice bar. Okay, so this is going to be looks like a brick built blender. So you can see that kind of creates a blender shape. And we're going to put a sticker on here. Sticker number two. This sticker actually goes right here. Okay. Build another blender. This one has the trans blue brick. The other one had the orange. Similar sticker, just blue version. Okay, move that to the side. hiding from me. There it is. Alright, with this little sub-assembly we're going to put two more stickers on. This looks like a drainage grate or something that is oozing some slime. Like an eye. So that goes back there. Okay. one by one studs I hope they show shiny on the camera because they are the chrome plated uh, studs they're not the kind of the matte pearlescent shiny ones they're actually the they look silver chrome so that's pretty cool it's been a while since I've seen parts like that. I just don't know if it's showing very well with the camera. Let me know, put a comment down below if you see that chrome shininess. So we're gonna carefully put this guy on. So we don't wanna knock those column pieces off. Let 
light yellowish green tooth. Looks like it glows in the dark, but it doesn't. done with all the big pieces so we're getting pretty close to finishing this guy up already okay we have looks like we're gonna populate our juice bar with some accessories that is red cup we have a looks like a wine bottle shape we'll go here glasses around there. It's cool. We're back to the side we have another little sub assembly to make and then I think we'll be pretty close to being done. close as possible without crossing over the tiles and getting them stuck to each other. So you can see there's still a little gap there, but I did get it pretty close. <clears throat> Not perfect, but good enough for viewing from a distance, I guess. Here we got some teeth. So if you haven't built any hidden side sets, typically the, the main build portion either transforms or is some sort of haunted creature. So it appears that this guy is going to probably be doing something very similar to almost all the other sets. They're kind of fun. Um, I'm, I've been slightly disappointed with some of the function and or play features of them. It's like the concept is cool. I think they, you know, with the, the transforming aspect and then the fact that there's an app that goes with it and trying to make both of those work. It seems like they're focusing on too much rather than making one part of it really good. It's like, Compromising some of the, the better parts of the set, trying to make an app that works with it. Unfortunately, you can tell with some of the sets. Alright, so this guy's gonna pop in here. Over glasses. Right, so you can kind of see right in that way, it looks like the juice bar, and it says slush ice right there that folds up. You can see the, the mouth is revealed. Alright, so another little awning piece. There's your 
angry face. And when you fold it down, that creates the, the covered awning piece. See, it looks like I forgot two pieces. Put those on real quick. It helps complete that angry face. And that's it. But see, I think the juice bar alone looks pretty good. Um, and then the play feature is just that. That's it. Now, you get the app and then you do all the other things with it. It, it becomes a little bit more interactive. But if you're one that doesn't like to download apps and play with apps, it's like you're stuck with just this. So a little disappointing on those parts, but the pluses are there's some cool pieces. Um, I like the the haunted um, head variant of the juice bar worker, and of course the uh, the little heroes or the the kids, whoever these people are that are. Um, doing the mystery solving in the hidden side are pretty cool characters. I like their head pieces and stuff like that. So there you go. That's it. You tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Thanks again for watching. If you love this video, then hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Do all those things you already know how to do on YouTube. And we'll see you in the next video.